Hello everyone and welcome to episode 97 of the Wizard 101 Let's Play series. We're back and better than ever. I think that was a message from Zeke alerting me that I have max gold. Actually, I'm almost positive that's what it is. Now, anyways, um, I saw an overwhelming response, and by that I mean two people said that I should continue with Chrysalis, which is fine by me, you know, I'm actually feeling like I'm getting back into it, especially considering the fact that, um, oh fuck, the last one didn't join, um, especially considering the fact that it, much, much less of Chrysalis than I thought left, I thought that, you know, part two was still huge, it's not really, um, this episode should be all of Ruined Alcazar, next episode will be Radiance Reborn, might be a little bit of a shorter episode, and then I'll try to do all of Sardonyx in one episode after that, and I should be able to, I think. Might be a little bit long. I can definitely do all of Conda Desert in one episode. And uh, probably Solar Arc would be included in that. I don't know. The Hive can be split up and then Shadow Palace will be its own, own thing, you know? But that should be it. You know, it's less than I thought. Um, I should be, you know, fine to do it. I'll just keep recording this for a little bit. Um... You know, I am level 100, still too lazy to go get the Malastare gear. I don't play Wizard 101 in my free time, to be completely honest. Um, I now get why a lot of YouTubers say, like, they're like, I don't play video games in my free time usually. I just, you know, relax because um, it's a very fair thing to do. I find that I don't like playing Wiz in my free time anymore anyway. So, you know, whatever. Boom. Bop. Get fucked. Um, yeah, I, I remember Ruined Alcazar a bit from... I think this is usually where you hit level 100. Like, if I remember correctly, it's usually that very first quest you turn it in and then you hit level 100. That's usually what it is. Which is funny. That means my balance, I think, has fallen behind where I expected. Because I expected him to hit level 100, you know, earlier. I think what happened was that I stopped doing side quests... Also, I haven't done Darkmoor, and I haven't done, um, is there anything else I haven't done, or is it just Darkmoor? Well, not doing Darkmoor is definitely a large chunk of XP that would probably get me to level 101 or 102 right now that I'm, you know, not doing. You know, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I would also like to be the voice of Chaos. Go do Ruined Hall. Aw, oh, fuck. My fire got caught in battle. That was exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah, fuck you. I'm gonna have to flee, aren't I? I am. Fuck you. Here, wait. You guys can listen to that dialogue for a half a second. Let me just get, like, a little bit more mana. There we go. To the ruined Alcazar. <laughs> there we go. It's really annoying controlling two accounts at once. I still find it really annoying anyway. Oh, my fire didn't get in the battle. Are you kidding me? Also, I haven't taken the feints out of my deck yet. I'm so dumb. Does my fire de fire's deck also have feints in it? Probably. 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 My arms are very sore, and I don't know why, Because considering I didn't do anything yesterday. Oh, wait, no, I did do something. Oh, and it's my right arm. That makes so much sense. I went over to my friend's house uh, yesterday and played VR for a while. I was like, why does my right arm hurt so much? And, you know, that makes entire sense, because I played a lot of, um... We played Vader Immortal, which was really fun, by the way, you know, and... That does make your arm hurt a little bit. Um, but it was really fun. Um, I'm honestly thinking of getting my own VR headset now. It, It's fun, you know? And I feel like it could be a cool idea for the channel. Um, if I ever decided, you know, I was like, if I was like, hey, let's record a video on, you know, Vader Immortal or something. I could do a Vader Immortal Let's Play series. That would be really fun. Um, you'd also see how bad I, by bad I am at uh, the game. My 
perception my depth perception is completely out of whack. Yes, sir. Let's go to the hall of the zodiac. Ah. Okay, fire, teleport, please. And let me go back up to Ruin Alcazar. Is this a boss? I believe it is, actually. Is this quest called Skyfall? It is. It's boss time. Greetings, trespasser. Thank you for that voice. You know what's something I realized that I hadn't realized this entire time? Is that my fire is using a deck that's just block and pip conversion. I've ne I didn't ever even noticed, honestly, that he wasn't using, you know, a deck that was that crit or anything. I, I just never noticed. So after this, we have a defeat and collect quest. And then it looks like we have four quests, which are like, um like instance quests and quote they're not dungeons they're just you know instances also i'm very impressed i think my did my balance and my fire get a shout up at first round that's incredibly impressive considering how uh my fire got two shadow pips excuse me okay boys i have an idea all right you might not like it because it is a bit risky but i have an idea <laughs> Um, if it doesn't work, luckily my fire has two shadow pips, so it's perfectly fine. Um, I, that's hilarious. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't know if you've been following the new game updates, because, um, I only just looked at it the other day. Um, but, uh, first off, they are updating character models, which I said, I thought that. They're also updating shadow pip chance, so they're removing the chance part of it, and they're making a certain amount of rounds, which I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of dislike it, actually. Because it makes it so that, for example, like, Rage Bull is much more, uh... Well, I do like it and I don't like it. Because it removes the chance from it. So it's like, I don't have to go an entire battle without using that. And it definitely, you know... Is better not having to, uh... Do that. But it also removes the chance component where, like... It's possible to end the battle first mm -hmm. round. And it's also possible, you know, to... Not... <laughs> To wait 300 rounds. Also, I just got medusa Um, which is actually kind of tragic when I think about it. Because that's a stun for two rounds. Which is really annoying. Um, oh. He's still alive? The, the other one? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to not kill the first one. Whatever. I'm sure I can kill him perfectly fine I just need to attempt ah whew. it's always so good when it's actual ninja pigs and not death ninja pigs I probably should have waited next round for that rage bull I, I could have you know killed the boss or something um, I was just a bit too uh, quick about it Hmm. I really want that first one dead, but I don't know how to go about it. Hmm. Oh, my fire got another shadow pip. He literally only has one shadow spell left. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the boss with Scorching Scimitars. And then I'm going to save up on my balance for a decent pip judgment and then take out the first one. That's the plan, anyway. I'm hoping that this episode isn't too long, by the way. I, I am just going to try to chunk it off into, like, a street per episode at this point. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Um... It looks like it isn't, you know, it, it is quite a few bosses. This should only be at max 40 minutes. Um, you know, I don't like having to dedicate 40 minutes of my time to it, really. But it, you know, it's not that bad. It, it's just stressful. Wizard 101 is stressful. Um, 
luckily I, I do think it won't be too hard to just record, upload, record, upload on like a daily, you know, daily schedule kind of thing. Um, okay, this one, this shouldn't be too bad. I think despite him resisting me, I should be perfectly fine with, uh, the amount of blades and stuff I have. Because even if, if he has 50% resist, I have a plus 125%, plus 86%. So I have like 200% damage, which is okay, you know? Should do fine. Should do at least 800 is what I'm saying. Honestly, I probably didn't even need this much. But, hey, what are you going to do? Bop. Okay. Fantastic job. Um, I'm so proud of you, my balance, for not, you know, for failing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And just like that, the bug is gone. You've been squished. I did a little bit too much damage. Bro, she a fucking ghost. Mm. I need to figure out what to do with my money. A new pet, per mayhaps. Let's uh, let's unlock this teleporter. I, I don't think that do they unlock automatically? I don't know. Well, if they don't, I just unlock the Runalkazar one. All right. Perfect. Hello, Amelia Stardust. The sky is so empty. Man, this is actually wow. I think this is the first, um, what's it called? Defeat and collect quest we've had in a while that w hasn't been, like, defeat one. So I might actually have to pause the video here, which is, it ha it's been a long time since that's happened. Also, one of them didn't join in first round. Why? There we go. But anyways... It, it'll probably be one of the first times I've had to pause a video in a long time. It's kind of whack. <sighs> okay, prepare for death. Uh, so, after this, we have... An instance with a mob and then a double boss, an instance with a boss and then a mob, a mob and a mob, and then a single boss. So it shouldn't be that bad, actually. I, I actually doubt it will reach 40 minutes. Um, I think it'll be about 30, but I could be wrong, of course. I'm quite bad at that sometimes, guessing how long it's going to take to do something. And goodbye. All right, I'm going to pause, and I will come back when I have all of the ion charges. All right, that literally lasted one round. It's been probably about 40 to 50 seconds since I paused the video. Um, I wasn't expecting to just, you know, do it. I must teleport to Crab Island. Crab... Is there a mob fight first here? Yes, there is. Oh, wait. That's not a wisp. I was going after the crab teleporter like it was a wisp on my fire. Because I need that health, you know? Alright. Let's do this. Uh, yes, I shall. Uh, okay. They have a decent amount of health, actually. But, um... What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. I should level up to 101 very soon, actually. Um, it's such a shame that I'm way too lazy to farm for things. It would be nice. I, I know why they still haven't added it, honestly. But it would be nice if they added an item trading system to this game. Yeah. It would make things so much easier. Not even because, like, Malastare gear, because obviously I don't have any other balance to trade Malastare gear to. It was, it's just specifically, I wish that they had it so I could trade, like, my spare Alpha and Omega rings and Bleed of Feld Titans over. 
because I have multiple, you know, like my fire has, I, I don't know about alpha and omega rings, honestly, I don't know how many spares of those I have, but I have like a, quite a few Blade of Fell Titans that I just don't use because I don't have anything to use them on. Um, how much are they at? 2,000? Alright, not bad. Not bad indeed. If I could enchant that balance blade, that would be really nice. Let's do this. My fire is a bit lower on health than I would like, but it's okay. Um, the next bosses shouldn't be too hard, actually. I mean, it's a double boss fight, which is a little bit harder than the normal thing, but I think it'll be fine. Um, let's, let's bop them a bit. Um, so, I haven't talked about life in a while. How has all of your lives been? Are you, you doing good? It's summer, summer vacation time. I'm sure a lot of you, uh, who go to school are, you know, rather enjoying. Hmm. Are rather enjoying their summer vacation. I know that I am. Um, I go to college in the fall. Still figuring all that stuff out gonna get a job soon you know so I can pay for those college bills <laughs> and goodbye alrighty oh we're going down are we going down a floor that is quite unusual actually um, it's Okay, well, first off, it's a double boss, but I think uh, these are the same bosses that I fought in uh, the, what's it called? So, do they still have, yeah, okay, so these aren't too bad. And there's only two of them this time, which is actually pretty good. Um, so, what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. Oh, yeah, usually you don't go down a floor. Usually you go up a floor. It's just m much more common in Wizard 101. To go up a floor than down a floor. I can't even name it many other times that we got down a floor, but. Fuck you, I didn't have blades. This arm actually really hurts. I don't know if. You guys can't see it because it's out of shot, but I keep going down and gripping, like, right here. Because I find that that's the part of my arm that usually hurts the most when I do exercise and stuff. I don't know why. Like the the reverse side of my elbow right here. But it actually hurts decent right now. Like, decently bad. Um, Alright. Uh, so my fire can already use... Um, what's it called? He can already use Rage Bull. Of course, I'm, I'm probably going to fizzle on both of these, which is really annoying. Yep, that's really annoying. Because that's a waste of a round. I hope he still fizzles. Uh, well, he used a blade, so it doesn't matter. Um... My balance doesn't have a trap, which is annoying, but it's okay. I'll faint on my fire, and then hopefully next round, my balance will get a potent faint, and then I can rage bull. I think uh, a faint and a potent faint on both of them should be enough. This is actually really terrifying. I don't think he can do 2,500, right? Unless he just crits and 1k one-shots me right now. Alright, okay, wasn't that bad. That minus accuracy is really annoying, though. I hate it. I hate minus accuracies. Um, let's use a fire blade first. I don't want to fizzle due to the minus accuracy on an attack. And my balance did get the potent faint, which is perfect, exactly as planned. So I think this would be probably the hardest thing, and I think it'll we'll finish it around 21 minutes, 22 minutes, 
So, then we have a boss, mob, mob, boss, and that's it. So it should be about 30 minutes long, I think. Probably a little bit longer, 35. Not, not half bad. Um... do this and let's hope this works <laughs> cross your fingertips we are going to be uh, attempting a rage bull actually this should most definitely kill I have two three blades and then they both have two faints which is enough I have three blades all right yeah this is this is uh, more than enough should do like 20k damage Wow, look at me. I know my own limits. Alright. I'm gonna use a potion on my fire. Please don't. I, I don't like your voice. It scares me. Amelia Stardust. For 100k. Is it enough to level me up? Nope, but it almost is. Hello, Amelia. Boom. Now this gives 116k. I'm not, I don't know if you can see, but I'm not a spider. Um, I guess he probably can't. Alright, so we're back up to 20k health. I don't know, it's been a while, I think, since we've had a 20k health boss. I think all, recently they've all been below 20. But they're getting back up there, getting back up there. Man, I remember the end of Azteca where every boss had like 20, 20k health, 23 Ah, fuck you. I wasn't gonna heal anyway. Bitch. Ugh. Man. Kind of tiring, actually. Mmm. Alright. Let's do that. Once I get a Shadow Pep, I should be fine to kill, I think. Hmm. Sorry, I'm. I'm <laughs> I, I just realized that I'm kind of tired right now. That's what happens when I play Wizard 101 for too long. But it's perfectly okay. I will get through Chrysalis, I swear to God. I'm, I'm going to, alright? And when that day comes, you know I'm going to be hyped as fuck. Where I don't have to do Chrysalis again for like a long time. <sighs> so actually... Coming up, we have probably one of my favorite parts of Chrysalis. I don't know why, but I've always actually really liked the uh, Sardonyx. I've always found Sardonyx to be the best street. I don't know what it is. I just really like it. I mean, after this, we have Radiance Reborn, which is perhaps one of the easiest parts of Chrysalis, I think. It's not really easy. It's just, just short because it's, um, it's solo boss fights, which means since they're solo boss fights, they're designed to be, you know winnable so I'm hoping I can win them rather easily and then after that we'll have uh, the sardonyx which so the sardonyx has a lot of quests actually it has 196 to 223 so that's like 30 quests which is a lot more than most of these streets but the thing about sardonyx is is that um, it looks like they're super spaced out in terms of like mob quests 
It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five bosses in the entire street. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mob fights. So that's not bad at all, actually. That's that's almost that's about what we have we had in this street. So I'm hoping we'll do the Sardonyx in one episode. Alright, let's go up. And up. The Downdraft Elementals. Hopefully these will be rather easy to defeat since they're a life. How much health? 3,000? Yeah, you're... Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. Gotta love it when I accidentally almost use an unenchanted sandstorm. Let's see how much damage this does. If it doesn't kill my... I can definitely clean up with my... Uh, with my balance. If I crit... No, no crit. Oh my god, they have like 10 health each. Come on. Come on. Fuck you. <laughs> I should have used Unenchanted Sandstorm. Would have worked. Who could have guessed? Have I ever worn my glasses on camera? I don't think I have. I don't wear them because, uh... A, I don't need them on a computer screen. It's actually unhealthy to wear your glasses when looking at a computer screen. And two, um... The, there's a glare from the, I don't know if it's from my computer or from the light or what, that makes, uh, that makes my eyes glare in the camera as you can see. But I kind of want to wear them right now because I, I like being able to see. So it's, it's nice every once in a while, you know? I'm mentally debating with myself whether I want to record next episode right after this or not. I honestly don't think I will just because, um, I, I like to be, you know, not necessarily hyped, but I like to be awake completely and, you know, alert when I start every episode. And, uh, you can definitely tell when I do a recording session rather than just over, like, a single recording because, like, especially, I think, in one of the co-op episodes with Calvin, like, I think he mentioned it, like, we were a lot more excited, not excited, but a lot more awake and, uh, peppy in the first video, and then the second we were much calmer and less, you know, hectic. And that's just mainly due to recording taking a lot out of you, especially me, where I'm talking a lot, and, you know, I find that, you know, recordings do that to me a lot. Especially, uh, the reason why I was thinking about possibly doing two in a row was just specifically because the next street is so short that I should be able to do it in like 20 minutes, you know? But at the same, I just don't think it's a good idea. I'll, I'll just save it for tomorrow, which should be fine, you know? Considering, uh, you know, I don't really have much to do, so. Okay. It's really good that my fire crit there, considering they have, like, a ton of health. I say a ton, but I mean, like, 4,600. Sorry, my nose is really itchy, actually, right now. <sighs> I'm glad they didn't use Earthquake, though. Oh, wait, did I even have blades? Never mind. Yeah. I didn't even have blades, what am I saying? But, uh, yeah, they're... Myth enemies are annoying to fight as always. When I was little, actually, funny story about me. Well, I say when I was little, but, you know, quite a few years ago when I was playing Wizard 101. Um, myth enemies in Mushu, I believe. I don't know if it was Mushu or Avalon or something. Well, myth enemies are very frequent in those worlds. Same with Azteca. And they would always use Humongo Frog. And I think I, at one point time when I was playing the game, I saw the Humongo Frog spell so much that I actually felt sick to my stomach because, you know, it vom like vomits the acid out on him, and like, I just, I, I wasn't feeling too hot. Every time I saw it, I was like, oh god. <clears throat> <Death equals death. laughs> Stealth equals death? I don't know about that one, chief. But, uh, if you say so. 
Okay, that one also has 4,600 health, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. I'll, uh... I'll blade my fire this time, just in case he decides to crit. If he crits, it would be nice. If he doesn't, fuck him. Hey, crit, look at that. Oh, I actually killed, Jesus. Of course the one with the 4,000 health crit blocks. Of course it does. You kidding me? Come on, King's Isle. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Um, what's next? Just a boss. Alright. Alright, let's get this blade in. My balance will sandstorm. Who knows, maybe he'll crit do a million damage right now. Nah. Nah, he's not feeling it. Just not as not not today. When's the last time I balanced crit? A very long time ago, I think. Like a very long time ago. I don't know how long ago, but it's been all it's been a hot minute. He's definitely fizzled more than he's crit. I can tell you that much. Go for it, my dude. See, that time the crit went through. Mm. Alright. Back to Amelia. Hello, Amelia. I have returned. I have the final one, the Phoenix Island. I shall be reborn from the ashes and rise in power and strength. Go to Phoenix Tower. Boom. Ah. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Anyways, first off. He's a fire, which is annoying. Second off, his name is Papa Jacobo. Which is also interesting. Um, I don't know how to feel about Papa Jacobo, who is also apparently Papa Roach. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. They must have done that intentionally, right? They must have. They made a roach creature called Papa Jacobo, and he says something about cutting your life into pieces like Papa Roach in Last Resort. Oh my god. King's Isle, you're a fucking genius. That has to be intentional, right? That has to be. I've, I'm just blown away by that. That's so cool. I can't be the first one to get that connection, right? It's been a while since I've listened to Papa Roach. Alright, let's do another faint. My fire has got his rage bull up and ready. Um, just gotta wait for a shadow pip. And then it should be relatively fine. I need some blaze as well. Apparently, uh, he's just gonna use Basilisk on me, though, which is annoying. Does this stun? I think it does, right? Or is it a ring around? I always forget with Basilisk. Okay, it is a stun. Oh, and it's a ring around. Jesus Christ, Basilisk is all three. It's a, it's a damage, ring around, and a stun pretty good. It's damage is a little bit low, but like, you know. 
Not bad. Is that plus 45? Yeah, it is. Alright. I've been stunned for the round. Well, I have it now. I, my stun's already passed, so let's use the faint. Prepare to be destroyed, Papa Roach. I hope his death line is also another reference to Papa Roach. I'll, I'll look. I don't know many songs about by Papa Roach besides, like, Last Resort, Scars. Is there anything else? I don't know, actually. I, I mean, obviously there is other songs by him. I just can't think of any. Um, let me open Spotify. Oh god, I accidentally pressed play. Okay, I paused it before... I could get uh, copyright striked on this video. <laughs> My Spotify isn't opening. It's taking a while. Um, all right. Actually, why am I? I'm like such a boomer man. And rage pull. Spotify open yet? No. It's not feeling like it. It's just black. The Spotify application is not responding. Well, thank you. Um, I just smudged my glasses. But, um, yeah. I need to look at that. Also, Cyanar, bitch. This better kill the first thing. If it doesn't kill the first thing, I'm gonna be a bit, a bit uptight. It should, right? Yeah, it's it's good. A little bit overkill, but whatever. I was spread too thin. I don't know if that's, uh... Wait. I gotta look this up. Oh, I never realized I was spread too thin is another line from, uh... Last Resort. So it is. It's, it's confirmed. Um... That Papa Jacoba was, uh, Papa Roach. Okay, wait. There's another thing I need to look up real quick. Ha! Wait! I bet you. Yep, the lead, the lead singer's name is Jacoby. Alright, it all makes sense now. That looks pretty sick. Boom! Now we gotta go Radiance Room 1. Jesus Christ, it's loud. I can't hear you. I can't hear anything. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. Radiance Reborn tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.